Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with thousands of true school sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, <laughs> shadow boxing over here. Um, the Canelo Liam Smith undercard. I haven't made any videos about Canelo versus Liam Smith because honestly, what's the point in making a video about that cherry picker? About that card that's not really, or not about that main event that's really not going to do anything for me or you as a boxing fan. Unless you're a Canelo fanboy, then maybe you care about that fight. But uh, that's, that's, not, that's, that's not an intriguing fight. And maybe it'll be better than we think it will be, but it's, just, it's not doing much for me, and I know it's not doing much for a lot of boxing fans. But the undercard has been announced, and that's probably what a lot of you, if you are paying attention to that card, care about more. And um, one of the fights that was announced uh, recently, I believe it was a couple of days ago, or maybe even yesterday, at the time of shooting this video, um, on that undercard, you will have uh, Gabriel Rosado. Gabe Rosado, you know, exciting Philadelphia fighter, has been in wars, always brings the war. Um, never afraid to give a good show, but definitely uh, has had a really mismanaged career fighting so many good fighters in a row. But uh, Warriors Heart for sure. He'll be taking on Willie Monroe Jr., a guy who, like Rosado, also lost to GGG. But still, Monroe, a, a, a good slick boxer. Yeah, he's been in the gym over the last year or so. I know I've seen videos with him working with Mayweather Sr. Um, so hopefully, I, I think this is actually going to be a good fight. You know, Rosado is a guy that, like I said, he can make any fight exciting. He comes forward. He always, uh, you know, fights with that warrior's heart. Maybe fights a little bit too much heart. Wish he would use some more of that skills because he does have some boxing skill. But, um, yeah, I think this would be a good fight for both of them. For, for Rosado and Monroe, this is a fight that will allow both of them to begin to work their way up back to middleweight rankings now. Um, for Rosado, you know, a lot of people, he's 30 years old. A lot of people view him as a, as a good journeyman, but nothing more than that. And um, he's fighting a guy, Monroe, who you could easily say is a, is a top 15 caliber middleweight. A win for Rosado really does wonders for his career as he's on a two-fight win streak. He's beat, he beat Joshua uh, Clotty, you know, over the hill Joshua Clotty, uh, last December, and he beat another guy. I think his last name was Gutierrez recently. He struggled with him, but he beat him as well. So he, there's that for, for, for Rosado. Now, for, for Monroe, you know, he's expressed interest in getting a, a, a second Golovkin fight. Um, I know in his fight on the Pravonikov, uh Molina undercard, I, I forgot the name of the guy he fought, but... He fought some guy, some overmatched guy, and, and uh, he knocked him down with a jab. So maybe that's a sign of, of him using that, that big frame of his more. Um, honestly, I didn't watch it. I just saw a couple highlights. But oh, I like the fight style, literally, just because, you know, Monroe is a slick boxer. And uh, I think in a fight like this, um, his, for Monroe at least, his mental discipline will be tested. Because Rosal going to be there all night trying to force exchanges, trying to force... Um, Monroe to, to make it a slugfest. Uh, I think for Monroe, he's gonna have to stay mentally disciplined and, and, and box box him, utilize the ring because he is the better pure boxer. Um, for Rosado, you know, I think in a fight like this with 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 a guy like Monroe, he can actually use some of that boxing skill to lure him into bring uh, to to have a war. Um, I th I just think you know with him having so many fights under his belt against so much so, so much good competition. He can use some of those veteran moves to 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 lure Monroe into exchanges, and, and that's where I think Rosado has the best chance of winning. Um, but he's always had a good jab. He always has, has had good size for himself at 160. He just never really never never fully learned how to utilize that boxing skill, and I think for him that's where that part of his game is going to be very t tested very much. So um, good fight, good fight for sure. Uh, you no, know, I think. You know, if, if Monroe is willing to exchange, and I'm just gonna go out on a limb here, and you know, this could this 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 is probably gonna be very wrong, but um, I think you know, stylistically, stylistically speaking, because of what both these guys bring to the table, this could be a very very good fight, a like, very good fight, very entertaining. Um, I don't want to say the fight of the year candidate or anything like that, but it'll be, I think it'd be a very good fight. And it could, I think it's definitely gonna steal the show on the Canelo, uh, Liam Smith card for those who do fork out the money or or stream it. Um, but uh, yeah. So, uh, two former GGG victims fighting each other on the Canelo undercard. Uh, I think, <laughs> I'm sorry, I think it's going to be a good fight, though. Um, um, I think if I had to make a prediction of who I think is going to win, I'd probably favor Monroe. I mean, uh, credit to Rosado, you know, for, for the way he fights and, and fighting with that Warriors are all the time. But um, I just think Monroe has too much skills for him. And I think he's going to be able to uh, win a points decision here. Um, unless he doesn't stay mentally disciplined 
and, and, and Rosado lures him to exchanges, and then that's how Rosado slowly batters him and, and, be, and beats him, um, maybe via a, 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 a accumulation of stuff, accumulation of uh, damage, and the referee has to stop it, or maybe he flattens him. But I think it's a good fight. Um, so yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Canelo, oh not Canelo. Gabriel Rosado versus Willie Monroe Jr. on the Canelo Liam Smith undercard. I think to me this is definitely the fight of that whole card. Forget the main event. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think about this fight. Uh, who, who you think will win down below? Uh, take the time to subscribe, and you could love me or you could hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.